It's not diminishing the amount that's going in. Inside the chamber at BC's legislature today, some MLAs discussed infrastructure. But in the hallways, a different topic was front and centre. Yes, I have no sleeves under my jacket. <laughs> Deputy Premier Carol James waded into a brewing debate about dress code. People dress for business uh, clothing in the workplace, and I think it's ridiculous that we have uh, people policing that. The latest discussion was sparked after an NDP staffer was told her sleeves were too short. A woman who works in this building was wearing a lovely cap sleeve blouse and was told that she needed to cover up. Then a group from the press gallery, including a CBC reporter who's not covering the story, decided to don tank tops and short sleeves as a sign of support. Throughout the day, more weighed in, including an MLA who tweeted that one of her staff was told by the Legislative Assembly to wear a slip under her dress as it was clinging to her legs when she walked. I've heard that from interns being told how to dress. I've heard it from other women that they've been told how to dress. Uh, it's 2019, folks. You don't need to tell us how to dress. But this subject of bare arms has come up recently and not just in political hallways. Last year, while talking about news anchors, former Prime Minister Kim Campbell said bare arms undermine credibility and gravitas. That tweet, too, sparked debate. In a statement today, the Speaker of the House said B.C.'s legislature applies a conservative, contemporary approach to dress codes that's been in place since 1980. But officials say that policy is being looked at again. We will be undertaking review of the dress code to ensure that it meets modern business attire expectations. To reflect what's considered appropriate in the halls of the legislature. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Vancouver.